What's up guys, Zelda Inferno here, and welcome to a brand new video. That was way more over dramatic than it needed to be. <laughs> but anyway guys, uh, in this video I wanted to uh, give you all an update on my Nintendo Switch game collection. As it has been more than a year now since I did the last one. Uh, I did uh, my last Nintendo Switch uh, game collection video to celebrate the Nintendo Switch's one year anniversary and I guess you could say that uh, this is my video to celebrate the Nintendo Switch's second year anniversary albeit a few days late. My apologies on that guys, I wanted to get this video out much sooner however, you know, a bunch of stuff just kept happening and I never had the time to film it but anyway, here, here I am right now about to, oh, oh I am filming this for you guys uh, but anyway guys, let me show you all my Nintendo Switch game collection. Now, it may look a little bit different than the last time because, you know, the last one was like March of last year. And so it's been over a year now at this point, and so I've gotten quite a few games since then. But anyway, guys, without further ado, let's do this thing. Wait, what the heck? Why am... Cappy? What the heck? Freaking Cappy? Oh. But anyway guys, uh, let, let's try that again. There we go. <laughs> I, I know, like... Yeah. <laughs> anyway guys, so this is my Nintendo Switch game collection. Probably not the most ideal way to uh, <laughs> uh, stack up my games here. Instead of having a few small little uh, stacks, I just towered it up. Blah. But anyway, um, I guess let, let's start it. No, I, I actually debated whether or not to, because, you know, last year I gave you all, like, my thoughts on each game, uh, unless I didn't. I, it, it's been a while. I don't remember everything, but I'm pretty sure I gave you all detailed thoughts uh, my, my details not about each of the games that I showed you guys. I, I debated whether or not to uh, do that again or just say the name of the game. Uh, I don't, uh, at this point, like, I was worried about time. I don't really care anymore. Uh, I decided I'm just going to go ahead and show you all uh, the games that I have with me and just give you my thoughts about the beginning, even if I, you already know how I feel about the new games. Uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's do this thing. Starting off with, of course, my favorite game of all time. Those of you who have been around on the channel for a while have known that Breath of the Wild is my all-time favorite game of all time, and for good reason. Not only was it uh, the Nintendo Switch, one of the Nintendo Switch's first games, uh, but also, you know, it's it's a huge leap for Zelda. I've been waiting for this game for years. A lot, m millions of people have been waiting for this game for years, and the fact that I can say like I, that I own this game is, uh, especially when it first came out, like. It was mind blowing to me, and like it's such a beautiful game. Uh, it's so big and open. Like I, I put like three to four hundred hours in this game, which I know compared to some other Breath of the Wild players, it's not that much. And I and I still haven't found everything. I, I still have not found everything. But like honestly, ten out of ten game for me. Now, of course, it's not a perfect game. Not not by any means. But it's still my number one game for me. My, uh, two favorite games of all time, for those of you who didn't know, is, uh, it, it, sometimes it's hard for me to decide, like, my all-time favorite game, I, but my two favorite games of all time are, uh, The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, or, well, before Breath of the Wild, Twilight Princess, and also Donkey Kong Country 2, Diddy's Conquest, but, uh, and I, at the time, I, I'd say Twilight Princess was probably my favorite game of all time, but no, now, Breath of the Wild is, let me, uh, put this, right over there. I'm just going to stack them to the side. Hope you guys don't mind. Well, I don't know why you would. But anyway, moving on. Uh, this is probably going to be a super long video, by the way. But, uh, one to switch. Now, this game was a bit of an impulse buy for me because, um, I don't know. Like, <laughs> I, I guess I just wanted, I was curious about the tech inside the Joy-Con and wanted to actually see if the HD rumble was as good as some people were saying it was. So I picked it up and I had a good 20 minutes of fun with it. 
just kidding. I actually had a lot more fun with it because, you know, uh, when the Switch first came out, I brought it to school uh, and, you know, during like lunch and whatever, uh, we, we would play 1-2 Switch and we had a great time playing it. Uh, so yeah, honestly, although it's not one of the Switch's be better games or be best games on the system, it's, it's definitely up there in terms of, you know, memories of having fun with friends, but in terms of actual game quality, it, it, can, it can burn. <laughs> oh, oh my god, okay. I'm kidding, guys. I'm kidding. Don't. 1-2 Switch isn't a bad game by any means, but for $50, <laughs> you're better off but playing some uh, freaking snipper clips. Which is a game that you still yet to buy. Damn it. But anyway, guys. Uh, okay, I don't know what that... Moving on. Let, let's let's go. I don't know. Uh, uh, this is a one take video. I don't even care. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Great game. Probably no, not even probably. This is the best version of Mario Kart. Period. My favorite Mario Kart game. And Mario Kart 8 back when it first came out on the Wii U. I'm not gonna pull out my Wii U copy, but I, I bought it day one on the Wii U, and it and it instantly became my favorite Mario Kart game. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Beat it by a long shot, uh, especially because my biggest gripe with the original was the battle mode, and Nintendo delivered on giving us a much better battle mode. While it, I wouldn't say it's the best battle mode in the, in the series, that's still, it, it's Double Dash for me, at, which remains probably my favorite uh, version of battle mode. Maybe, I, I don't know if I'd really call the one in Mario Kart Wii as good, but anyway, Mario Kart getting uh, off topic here, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is still a fantastic game, uh, and if you are a Switch owner and still have not picked up this, uh, picked this game up, go ahead and do so. You won't regret it. But anyway, moving on. Uh, area of Arms, a game which I actually have not played in a while. Like it has been quite some time since I've last played this game, which is it's sad because when I first got this game, I bought this game day one as well. I, I loved it. I instantly fell in love with it. Like, sure, I, I never played it with motion controls. Hell no, I did not play this game with motion controls. Uh, because I tried. Don't don't jump to conclusions or whatever. I tried playing with motion controls, and I sucked at it. <laughs> I, I just couldn't get into it, guys. Um, but it's still a fun game. Uh, it, it has, oh, honestly, I had a lot of memories playing this game, especially when the global test, uh, I almost call it global test fire because I'm sticking with Splatoon right there, uh, which, speaking of Splatoon, got something coming up in just a bit, but, uh, spoiler alert, but not really, I don't know, but when the global test punch was a thing, I had a lot of memories of playing that uh, as well. Uh, fun fact, uh, before I started making videos on this channel, I actually tried streaming the test punch on uh, Twitch. And that did not go so well. It was laggy as it's all getting out. And I, I don't know why I even bothered. I even tried doing Breath of the Wild and I had surprising luck streaming Breath of the Wild on Twitch. I, I'm sticking to YouTube for now because that's where the majority of you guys are at. But uh, ARMS, I, I keep getting off topic and I don't know why. But yeah, ARMS guys. Great game. I, I honestly, maybe for like another. Let me, go, guys, down in the comments. Let me know. Would you like me to stream this game sometimes? I'd love to get back into it. I know they still do like, like party things or whatever. I don't even remember what they're called right off the top of my head. But they do like these little events, kind of like Splatfest, I'd say. Maybe a little like Splatfest, but let me know. Like maybe for like a Nintendo Switch game night or something. Let me know. Would you guys uh, mind playing this? Arms. I don't know why you should turn the back or whatever. I. I'm tired. It's like 4 a.m. right now. Maybe, probably not that late, but it's, it feels like it. Anyway, as I mentioned, uh, last last time I did uh, this collection video, I, I mentioned how I did not have a physical copy of Splatoon 2. Um, I had it digitally because my patient ass could not wait. Because I remember a GameStop employee told me uh, shortly, shortly before the launch of Splatoon 2, "Yeah, we're yeah we're doing a midnight launch. Go to GameStop the night that it comes out." No midnight launch. We're there like an hour or two before midnight. No midnight launch. And it really pissed me off because most of the stores were closing and so I ended up downloading it instead of waiting until dawn like a normal person and yeah, I don't know why I did that. Maybe because I wanted to uh, 
have a better, a higher rank or level or whatever. I don't know. But uh, a few months after I made my last collection video, I did go out and buy a physical copy. I do play the physical copy, obviously not really digital. I, I pr trust and what, prefer physical more, not only because it looks nice on my shelf, but also because, you know, th even though I'm, I doubt Nintendo will ever really um, shut down or delete Splatoon off the eShop or shut down the eShop, dig digital games can come and go. Fizzle games are with you forever, so, yeah. Anyway, there we go. Um, moving on, um, and also, I forgot to mention, for the most part, this, uh, these games are stacked in the order that I got them. Uh, but there is a few exceptions. I'll get to those uh, when we come across them. But, Binding of Isaac, Afterbirth Plus, uh, got this shortly after Splatoon, I maybe see a week or two after Splatoon 2 came out. Um, I have not went back to, um, I have not went back to, uh, Afterbirth, surprisingly, which is sad because I put hundreds of hours into Rebirth on the PS4. I freaking adore that game. Uh, it's, there, it's a roguelike, uh, game, very Zelda 1 inspired. Uh, it's, it's a great game and I need to jump back into this. I, not put a whole lot of time into the Switch version, which sucks because I feel like the Switch version would be the definitive version, and I'm not just saying that because I'm a fanboy or whatever, but because, you know, you can take it with, with you whenever, wherever you're going. I'm pretty sure even Afterbirth Plus came out first on Switch before PS4. I could be wrong. I might be wrong. But I thought, at least the physical version of Afterbirth, I think, came out on Switch before uh, PS4. And I don't even think it's on Xbox One, to be honest. I don't think it is, but anyway, uh, moving on, I think these are in order, I hope to god that <laughs> they are, y'all already know, y'all already know I had to show some love to Super Mario Odyssey, well obviously I, I have to show it in my collection video, but, so obviously it'd be here, but Super Mario Odyssey, my, probably one of my favorite Mario games, uh, it really reminded me of going back to like something like Sunshine and Galaxy, it was more collected than all Gal although Galaxy was a lot more linear than even Super Mario Odyssey, which I don't know why I even remotely consider this to be linear. It's not linear. It's sandbox, great game. And honestly the fact that we got both Zelda and Super Mario Odyssey in the same year is mind boggling. I don't think I, it's hard to tell if there will be a, if there will ever be a year like 2017 for the Nintendo Switch. 2019 is looking pretty promising, and I have a video coming out uh, soon that will discuss what I want to see from Nintendo in 2019. Um, I wanted, I, I'm not sure how much I mentioned it on stream the other night when I was doing the anniversary stream back on March 3rd, uh, but I, I will have a dedicated video. Even if I talked a bit about it in my last stream, I'll have a dedicated video coming out soon uh, to, uh, you know, talk about it some more, so yeah. Uh, but anyway, Skyrim. Great game. Uh, honestly, I don't I don't even know how far I'm into it. I feel like a lot of these games I need to jump back into, and uh, we have a few games coming up with it, which I know a lot. It would be very familiar to a few fans of the channel. Uh, but yeah, do oh, I also do. Skyrim. Very great, very good game. It is, and I have not gotten Zelda content, but I feel like that, other than the fact that, uh, you know, you can take this, like, the big selling point with this version is that you can take it anywhere, but another big point to the Switch version is, uh, the Zelda content, which I think is a major plus, even though you could probably mod that stuff in. In fact, I know for certain you can mod that stuff in on the PC version, and probably even the co other console versions. Switch version, though, sadly does not support mods, but moving on to another Bethesda game, we have Doom for the Nintendo Switch, which uh, you already know. I feel like I announced a Let's Play a bit too early, uh, but I, I will be actually Let's Playing this game. It's a great first person shooter. I put hours into the online multiplayer until I deleted my... <laughs> no, I, I didn't, like, um, I think I restarted uh, the multiplayer from level one. I don't even remember. I feel like at one point I did. I, I'm getting completely off topic here. But yeah, Doom, uh, quick update about the Let's Play. Uh, it should start 
and I know I, I need to keep promises better, but I think I, I can get at least the first one or two episodes out by uh, late, late this month, early next month, so look on, be on the lookout for that. Doom for the Nintendo Switch. You already know what's about to go down. Pokemon Tournament DX. It's another great game for the Nintendo Switch. It's a fighting game. It's a Pokemon fighting game. This is actually the first Pokemon game released for the Nintendo Switch, and uh, I remember when it was first announced, a lot of people were sad that it wasn't Pokemon Stars, including myself, but that's what happens when you fall to hype. It's a great game, though. Definitely a great game. But yeah, Pokemon. Alright. Another game which I desperately need to jump back into. Mario Plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle. This game is very fun. It's a very weird, and I remember this game was leaked like a year, like a few months, a year before it was announced. Actually, probably like close to two years at this point, as of right now. But uh, <laughs> this game was originally said to be revealed during the Nintendo Switch presentation, but apparently, and I feel like this could potentially be true. In fact, it might be confirmed to be true. I don't know. But apparently it was pushed back and revealed at E3 because they wanted to like finish things up and they had to delay it or whatever. But apparently like there were rumors that it was supposed to be originally a launch title for the Nintendo Switch, but it was actually uh, not and released August 29th of 2017. Um, but uh, yeah, I did not get it at launch. Uh, but um, yeah, and I remember when this thing was announced too, like during Ubisoft's conference, I was there with my, me and my friend, uh, Ernie, um, we were watching the Ubisoft conference because uh, that same night, uh, me, Carlo, uh, Ernie, and my brother, uh, we went to uh, the Sony, uh, the PlayStation E3 experience 2017. We also went to the E3 2018 one, uh, which I have a vlog on my channel about that. Go, go check it out. I'm plugging my content. I, I need to stop. But yeah, I, and I feel like that's another thing. I keep getting off topic in this video. I, I should honestly stop. But yeah, uh, it's very fun. It's very different from Mario. Like, I remember the conversation on stage when they announced this game. Is me and like, just don't make a Mario platformer. Just make, do something. Put Mario in a setting where he's never been before. Do something that Mario... Have Mario do something he's never done before. Make a Mario game that he's never been before. Do that. And this is what came out of it. And fun, it's actually somewhat addicting, I actually need to jump back into it because I don't even remember where I'm at in the game. I feel like I'm de a, a decent way in, but who knows. Anyway, guys, I'm, let's move on here. Another game, oh man, we're, we're gonna, we need to stop with all these games I need to jump back into. There's just so many games here. You guys, look at this. Look at this, you guys. Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Fantastic game. Like, well, I think one of the longer streams, I went to, like, closer, I mean, it's, I'd say it's up there. I streamed this game for, like, four to five hours on my channel one night. And that was actually a really successful stream as well, like, uh, especially back when I was, like, still had only a couple, a few hundred subscribers, but, uh, which, I mean, I'm not even going to go through, through the YouTube drama with, uh, my subscriber cam right now, but, you guys should go check out my other video, we need to talk, and all now, but we should be over a thousand. But I need to stop. Um, this game, uh, one of the most successful streams. It's a very fun uh, type of RPG. It's a very, it's a real-time RPG, which I feel like I haven't been like super into RPGs as of late. But this game definitely made me appreciate the genre, all well, that, and I'm also a huge Pokemon fan. Which me, which uh, there also might be some Pokemon. The stack of games as well. Well, I mean, there were already was Pokemon. I had freaking Pokemon Tournament Deluxe. A game you never owned on the Wii, by the way. Uh, I did not own uh, in until the Switch. So, uh, also, I'm, 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 I'm going to fix my freaking stack of games right here so it doesn't all tumble down. Uh, Fire Emblem Warriors. This is actually the first Warrior games to come to come to Switch. The second Nintendo-themed Warriors game. Uh, to come to Switch, and uh, uh, this is around the time, I think after the next game, well, I don't know even if that next game is on the list. 
in the last uh, collection video that I did, but um, I need to go back and watch that one. I, I should have done it before filming this, but who cares? <laughs> Fire and Warriors. Um, although, like, I have not put as much time because war games are like hack and slash games. Obviously, they you, people spent hundreds of hours on them. I I spent hundreds of hours in uh, uh, higher wars on the Wii U to not feel the same way. Maybe it could be because because I'm just recently getting into Fire Emblem like Super Hardcore. I also got it because I'm a collector, uh, but also to see if I enjoyed it. And I did enjoy it, but it is not a core Fire Emblem game, obviously. Uh, Three Houses does come out in July. Uh, that is if they don't delay it again, but you know, take their time with it. It'll give me more time to fully get into the series. In fact, I'm going to stream a uh, classic games just to get into the groove of things. But anyway, I don't know if this was on my list last year. It might have been, but I don't remember. Uh, Bayonetta 2, this actually comes with Bayonetta 1, and I recently jumped back into it. Uh, and, try, and I'm trying to, com I'm working on uh, completing the first game so I could jump into the second game. And uh, yeah, it's, it, it's kind of like a hack and slash in a way. It's a very, very sexy game. You know, Bayonetta with all her Smash Brother glory and all the chaos. <laughs> uh, stop, guys, it is late. I don't even know what time it is now. I'm not going to check. Now, I know for certain this game was not on my list from last year. And this is a game which I mentioned earlier in the video that y'all, people who watch my channel will be very familiar to these uh, next two games on this list. Kirby Star Allies, guys. This is a great game. It is. I just need to finish it on my channel. That is a big thing. I need to finish this game up fast, guys. Um, <laughs> I don't know. It just... It, it's very same for Kirby. Uh, which, you know, it's weird because the last Kirby game that I played before this is actually Return to Dreamland on the Wii because I was not, like... Although I did play my 3DS quite a bit, I kind of fell out, and so I kind of missed the Kirby games on the 3DS. But, um, you know, it's still a great game, and I know they add continuous content. I don't remember when the last one, last content patch was, but I know they add, like, new characters, the dream friends. But, uh, definitely, after I get these few, few next few videos out, uh, this is definitely, I have the next, like, one or two videos of this film. Just need to edit them. Don't worry, guys. This time, they didn't get corrupted or not really corrupted, but this time they went through Premiere Pro and my editing software better, so I'm actually able to edit them properly and get them uploaded to you guys soon. So, uh, yeah, let's, let's get it, guys. Also, I, I'm not going to show you guys, but like compared to this stack right there, the one next to me, which is the stack of games which I already talked about, is all... <laughs> it, it looks like it's more about the fall. But anyway, guys, um... Next up, another game you guys be familiar with, Donkey Kong Jungle Breeze. This game, you know, I'm going to try, I ha I do want to, um, I talk to you guys, I might honestly, because um, I had a similar problem with this uh, too when I tried recording it. Uh, thank God for backup files. I had a similar experience where, if you don't know what happened with Curve Star Allies and Donkey Kong Country Jungle Freeze, sometimes when uh, your settings in OBS, which is of course the uh, recording uh, software that I use, if you sometimes you might you might have a little trouble putting it into Premiere Pro, which is my editing software uh, that I use to edit videos, of course, where it'll only import the uh, audio and not the video. So. That kind of screws you over. Thank God for backup files, but uh, yeah, I, I might honestly just uh, stream this. But uh, we'll see. Hopefully, very soon. And I feel like that might fit the the series a little bit better. Um, next up, one of my favorite games on the Switch, Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition. Now, I've not put as many hours in uh, the Switch version as the Wii version because with the Wii U version, you know, I, I even after I beat the game, um, you know, I would go and do the adventure maps and whatnot. Um, but even though, like, I'm done with this game, like, I, I should jump back into it to do all the extra content. Uh, and you know, it, it's still a good game. And uh, also, guys, I'm sorry about 
the way back I'm very tired. But uh, yeah, this is, yeah, it's a great game and it comes to all the 3DS content as well. Uh, I actually got to experience things like uh, uh, Linkle's story, which although I do have Higher Warriors, uh, de uh, not Defense Edition, Higher Warriors Legend on the 3DS, I hated that game. I got it day one and it was such a bad port. I, I mainly got it for the extra content. But it was not a good point, so I'm glad that they remade the content in HD on the Switch. So I still have a portable version of the game, which I actually haven't really played this game portably at all. This to me is a game that I need to play on my TV. Uh, but anyway, moving on. A game. With games inside of it. And I have another game on, in, in my, on my list that is uh, pretty similar to that. Mega Man Legacy Collection 1 Plus 2. I actually bought this game. To, not only because I really wanted it, but also um, because I do want, I, I, I got it, uh, first of all, so that I could um, play on the way to E3, which I did a little bit, and then I also played it, <laughs> it's funny, I played it in line uh, when we were waiting to play Mega Man 11. Uh, well, my friend Jaden, who was with me at the time, uh, he didn't play it, but... Uh, which I don't know why, because I'm pretty sure he's a Mega Man fan. But anyway, uh, I, I got it and I played it in line. It was pretty cool. I, I promised myself I would not uh, get Mega Man 11 until I finished all 10 of these games. So I need to get back to that very soon. I want like Mega Man 3 or 4 at this point. Um, but anyway, guys, yeah, let's move on, shall we? Alright, moving on. We have Mario Tennis Aces, another game which I haven't played in a while. I haven't even finished story mode. It's not a bad game, and they con are continually adding new content, new characters. They just recently added Pauline in the game. This came out on June 22nd of last year. I got it day one and enjoyed it. I streamed it. I even streamed the pre-launch tournaments that were held in, I think, early June. Um, it was definitely before E3. It was like late May, early June. I think it was early June. It was uh, shortly before E3, and I, I streamed the pre-launch tur online tournaments, enjoyed it, I just never really got too much into it, but I might have to uh, play it again, jump back into it, maybe even stream it, and give my new some new impressions on it, because they have added a lot more content since I last played it. So, uh, moving on. Another fantastic, I mentioned it earlier, we're talking about the Mega Man uh, Legacy Collection 1 plus 2, but we got the Crash Bandicoot uh, Ensign Trilogy on Switch. Who would have thought that we'd be playing the original Crash Trilogy, let alone the remakes, on a Nintendo console. Anybody remember those old uh, commercials? Sure, I wasn't around for the time when those commercials were airing, but um, there was the commercials of Crash Bandicoot outside of Nintendo America headquarters with a megaphone saying, uh, like, hey there, plumber boy, and all these crazy things, and uh, the, the mascot costume, which I'm pretty sure they're still using that same mascot costume today. I don't know if this, it's the same guy, but it's, it's really cheap. It's got like the hole in the mouth or whatever, so you can see the face of the guy uh, playing Crash. It's, it's really cheesy, but it's really funny as well. Uh, but yeah, dude, they're great games. I remember, I haven't ever finished the original. It wasn't until the remakes where I started finishing the games, but... I never finished it on PS1. I used to own it on PS1, and I used to love it when I was a kid. But uh, I, and you know, it wasn't even until well, I actually have not even played two and three. I need to jump into two and three on this collection. I only played through the first one, which I need to get, jump in again because these are great games. And that that will actually be my first time playing two and three through this collection. I never owned uh, them on PS1, so yeah, that's pretty great. An another game, a game which I actually do on Wii U, but you know, me being a collector, I have to, have to show that blood in me. Guys, Captain Toad Treasure Hunter. I got this actually, I, I, I'm too lazy to go get it. It's actually not that far for me, but I got this out of kind of impulse because, you know, I was already at Walmart and uh, I bought myself a SNES Classic Edition uh, because they had them in stock. And, uh, yeah, and then I'm, I got, but and that's actually also the day I got my physical copy of uh, Splatoon 2. Uh, so yeah, it's a, uh, it's a great game. I love it. I streamed it as well. Uh, I tried to stream a whole lot of the game, but you know, believe me, after I 
finished streaming, I got myself going back to the game and playing some more of it. It's a, it's a very fun a game, and I think this started out as a min, not min, well, not really a mini game compilation, or I don't know why I said that, but more of just like little bonus games in a Super Mario 3D World, which I'm also very surprised has not been part of the Switch yet, especially considering that that is one of the uh, themes in uh, Super Mario Maker 2, uh, which is a game I'm very much looking forward to. But moving on, Super Mario Party, I'm just like thinking of things, uh, speaking of things that are super, Super Mario Party. But, uh, you know, I was talking about Super Mario Maker. I'll, I'll stop, I'll spare you from my, my awful, tired rants and I don't know. Super Mario Party, great, great game, honestly. I know a lot of people get give this game flack, although it's, I would call it the best Mario Party game. To me, the best Mario Party games are all have, are always going to be the GameCube ones. <laughs> Uh, even the N64 ones, which I haven't actually played. <laughs> I played so, a few of them on the GameCube. Maybe like one or two of them on the GameCube. Uh, and then I, you know, I played eight on eight and nine on the Wii. I never got ten. Nine it, before Super Mario Party Nine was the last one that I had got, uh, and I got it shortly after it came out back in 2012. I got it for my birthday back in 2012. Uh, I was very young. I was 12 years old. Which uh, keep that age of mine in your head. Because I have a video that I would like to make that is uh, going to go back to those years. And I, I know a few of my friends watching this video, if they even decide to come this far in the video, they're going to know that I have something up my sleeve. Something that I am not proud of sharing with you guys, but. And they're going to hold me against it for the rest of my life. They're gonna, uh, what am I even talking about? I mentioned me being 12, and I'm just like, oh yeah, I have a video coming out. Oh yeah, Super Mario Party. That's a game that I'm holding in my hand. It's a great refer return to form for the Mario Party series. And I'm glad they didn't call it Mario Party 11. We already got enough 11s coming out. We got Mega Man 11 that came out back in October. We have Mortal Kombat election, uh, 11. I said election. I have Mortal Kombat. We also have Mortal Kombat 11 uh, releasing in April. Also come out Switch. But yeah, this is a nice return to form. I love it. I love play I have played it quite a bit with friends as well. Uh, it's a great, great return to form for Mario Party. And I hope that uh, future Mario Party games follow a similar format. Maybe making it better because my a problem that I had with the game was uh, the boards just were small. They were grid based and not as creative as previous Mario Party games. Uh, and when I say previous, I'm not talking about the ones on the Wii and the Wii U, I'm talking about, or even the 3DS, like, I'm talking about GameCube. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, this is actually a game um, that I bought, not only because, you know, I was interested in it, but also I got it because I did a Nintendo Switch game night back in October, on October 31st for Halloween. Uh, I had a big bowl of candy, I was playing some spoop, spoopy games, uh, nice uh, scary games on, uh, on stream and I got this game, I played a little bit of it. I need to jump back in because it's actually a really good game. And uh Resident Evil Forest on the Switch, my favorite Resident Evil game. And uh yeah, uh, he accepts Capcom screwing us over with the Resident Evil games coming to Switch because they're all uh the, like I know there's the whole Oregon collection with zero uh one and zero but really you're not gonna release a physical copy of four yeah, up your uh, screw you too, Capcom. Okay, but anyway, good games. Now here, I mentioned that for the most part, this list is going to be in order of when I got the games. But um, these two games, this one I, was the next one that I got. Uh, Pokemon, uh, let's go Pikachu. You know, po uh, I'm not sure if you knew this, but Pokemon Yellow, I believe, was the first Pokemon game that I've ever played. And from there, I fell in love with the series. I love Pokemon. For those of you who don't know, I am. I love me some Pokemon. And I'm very much looking forward to Sword and Shield. Probably gonna pick up both versions. Uh, but, uh, yeah. And although I'm not a huge fan of the way you control it, especially um, how you can only use one Joy Con, when. You can't even use the Pro Control, which is a stupid thing, especially when. If you play it. And I, I haven't played it too much in handle mode, but I played a bit in handle mode. And that's when I found out that you can play it perfectly fine with. Uh, just normal buttons, even to catch Pokemon, you can just use normal buttons in handle mode. But when you uh, hook it up to the dock, you can only use it 
uh, uh, one Joy-Con or even a Pokemon Plus accessory, which I do have right here. I do have a Pokeball Plus accessory. Um, I haven't used it too much. I think I used it on stream maybe once or twice, but yeah, uh, but I'm actually a big fan of it. I'm not a huge fan of again, the catching mechanic, but uh, another thing which I'm not going to say too much about this one, but I mentioned uh, other than these, um, it's not really going to be in order. Um, well, it's going to be in order. I'm tired. Uh, Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. I got this for Christmas. Uh, I asked for it because, you know, I wanted both versions because I am a collector. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I haven't played it yet because, you know, I'm still playing Let's Go Pikachu. I haven't beaten it yet. I'm, I have a ways to go, but I, I want to dedicate more time to playing it. Uh, anyway, moving on to the games that actually came out in order of when I got them, which uh, you already know. Super Smash Ultimate. Fantastic game. I can't wait for the DLC. Um, just a phenomenal experience. Best Smash Bros. game ever. And people who say it's a port, sure it was heavily built off of Smash Bros. But it's not a port, guys. But then again, I don't even know if I can really call it a sequel. It's, it's a really confusing bit when it comes to Smash Ultimate. But fantastic game. And another game which actually came out the same day as Smash Ultimate. Is Katamari Damacy Reroll one of my favorite games as a child? Uh, remastered for the Switch, I loved it. I I remember when I, especially when I first played on stream, I gushed over it. Like I'm not sure if you could really tell, you probably could, uh, but I, I was gushing over it too when I first played it uh, because you know my childhood, and I still have my PS2, my copy for the PS2. Uh, now here I'm gonna try to get through these next games as quick as I can because I'm you know, tired and hard to sleep. <laughs> but also, I, I do like making videos for you guys. I don't know if this video is actually going to come out today. It's like, it's March 7th. I don't know if it's going to come out today, but uh, if, if it does, then you guys will. Uh, but I'm, I'm aiming for maybe this coming out tomorrow, the 8th. But anyway, Dark Souls Remastered. I need, <laughs> I need to sit down and try to play this game. Because when I first played it, I wasn't too invested in it. And I, you guys saw me on stream. I didn't really spend a whole lot of time with it. I need to think about getting this some more, some more time. Uh, another game which is actually pretty fun. Uh, Monster Hunter Ultimate, Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate uh, for the Nintendo Switch, a game that uh, was said to not be coming over to the States, and then let alone, believe it or not, a year later we got it in the States. Uh, this was Monster Hunter Double Cross in Japan. I remember playing the demo when they first released that in Japan. Holy crap, this tower is about to fall. Let's try to get through uh, after this, guys. This game, this game is phenomenal. It is amazing. I love this game. Octopath Traveler. I know Miguel, Miguel9000. We have nicknames. Just, uh, we know a few Miguels who have been around on the channel. But Miguel9000, which you know who you are. Uh, we, we call him 9000 because, you know, he's an anime fan, and although he doesn't like Dragon Ball, from what he says, 9000 is associated with Dragon Ball, which is anime, so it's perfect. It's a perfect fit for him. But he, 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 he'd be very happy to be talking good things about this game. It's a great game, and I love the art style. That's probably one of the biggest takeaways from this game, is the art style. Probably, I don't... Let me see. Let me... Let me let me try and maneuver this. I don't know if you guys can see this. I'm going to move it off the side as well. Um, I'm going to try and hopefully this thing won't fall over there. We have five games left. Let's move on to it. Diablo 3. Now, I haven't played too much of it, but uh, I do have... Uh, I was going to say fond memories, but this game came out like a few months ago. I got it for Christmas as well. But, um, yeah, this... I, I like playing with friends. Oh, that's probably the biggest thing about it. It's a MOBA, which before this I was never really into MOBA. I'm still not super into MOBAs, but it's still, it's not a bad game. It's a really good game. Uh, and I need to invest more time into it. Uh, this game is uh, pretty, pretty good. Uh, Starlink Battle for Atlas. Now, the reason I got it for Switch is the obvious. The Star Fox content. In fact, 
I wasn't too sure about this game. In fact, like, when I first got this game, I, I wasn't I, sure if I'd like it, but it's, think of like, if No Man's Sky was good at launch. Now, I said at launch because I'm sure, I, I know people are saying that they've updated the game to make it better, but, uh, yeah. Um, moving on, we have the Nintendo Labo, uh, ToyCon 1. Now, I do have, uh, both ToyCon 1 and ToyCon 2, the robot kit. Uh, this is for the variety kit. I do have the robot kit somewhere over there. I'm not going to pull up the whole, both sets to show you guys, but, uh, and I have, like, the thing is with the robot kit, we haven't opened it yet, which is why I don't have it over here, but, um, yeah, it's fun. I, uh, loved playing with it with my little brother, uh, which is the main reason why we have this thing is so we could, uh, do that together, and it's really fun. It is pretty, pretty fun. Now I have two games left. Uh, now this, guys, uh, New Super Mario Brothers U Deluxe. Fun story for you guys. I never finished it on Wii U. I got it for Christmas back in 2012 uh, for the Wii U. And around July of the next year, July 2013, I think it was around that time, it was June or July of 2013. Now I'm playing it, and I'm really close to fighting Bowser at the end of the game. But then, next time I go into the game, the disc just stopped working. I checked, no scratches, no fingerprints, and I tried cleaning it in the most sufficient way I could for a 13-year-old. Nothing. And, uh, so yeah, um, it's gl I'm glad to know that it's on Switch so that I can actually complete it. And, uh, now it's a cartridge, so I don't have to worry about those disc problems. Alright, final game. This is literally about to fall. I don't. It's gonna be like the final game that I'm talking about. It's gonna, it's gonna collapse the whole thing. Uh, don't jinx it. You guys know I'm the, I'm the king of jinx things for long time views of the channel. But anyway, Cave Story Plus. This is a great game. I played it on stream, and the moment I was done with streaming, I immediately jumped back in because it's a fun little indie game by uh, Nicholas, which uh, you know they made Body of Light, Rebirth, and Afterbirth. And, I don't think they do Super Meat Boy. I think the original creator of Binding of Isaac did Super Meat Boy, but I don't think Metallus is responsible for that. It's Team Meat who does Super, Super Meat Boy. Um, but the thing I like about this is uh, it comes with little goodies. So you have a little CD. And I don't know how well you guys can see that with this shitty camera that I have, but it comes with a CD as well as a little keychain of my dude here. Let me see if I can get this out. I don't know how well you guys will be able to really see this. Um, I'll probably move this to the side, I don't know. Uh, we got a little keychain here. A little main protagonist. I always forget this guy's name. I don't know if he has any. <laughs> I haven't played too much of it, but I played quite a bit of it actually. Even though I just said I haven't played too much. I'm tired guys. Don't don't blame me in my antics right now. Um, get this and I'll try to, my best to close this thing. Ooh, come on, get it, get it, get it. Oh god, okay, this is not working. I always have trouble closing this thing because it just never wants to cooperate. Alright guys, here's the moment of truth. You guys, I don't know if you guys can really see it on camera, but I'm gonna try to stack this. Oh god, okay. It has a, it did not fall over. Hopefully not all the right when I said that. But anyway guys, that's um, pretty much it for this video. I have not, like, sure these are these are all my physical games, but I haven't even counted the uh, amount of digital games that I have as well. Uh, things like uh, downloadable like indie games and demos, I have not talked about that. Maybe I'll do a separate video talking about like a video about what's on my Nintendo Switch. I don't know. Uh, but another thing that I have to, to show you guys, I have these, um, there's little special editions for uh, games. Now, uh, you already know, I have the... Now, this is a pretty sure the only way you can get uh, Starlink Battle for Alice is through the Starter Edition. Um, but this is the one from Nintendo Switch. It comes with uh, 
the Star Fox stuff as well. I have not t taken everything out of the package because, you know, I immediately jump for the Star Fox thing, uh, Star Fox, like the Arwing and a uh, Fox figure and this, uh, play through the Star Fox content, which is really fun. I have my Arwing over there, but I'm, I don't want to go over there and get it. <laughs> uh, too much walking around for me. Another thing uh, is I have the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Special Edition, which, uh, comes with uh, the Steelbook as well as the Pro Controller, which in fact, I do have the Steelbook right here. Now this is, it's pretty cool. I mean, it's literally just what looks to be like a cutout image from like the initial teaser back from the March uh, 2018 Nintendo Direct where there was a fl giant flaming smash symbol. But uh, when you open it up, you have, um, uh, the battlefield, of course. Uh, nothing too much going on there. Just, uh, it, it's a nice little thing to have for collectors, of course. Uh, but, and also, another thing is I have, I do have the Pro Controller as well. This thing is great. This is my primary Pro Controller. I do have, like, two or three Pro Controllers, but, uh, I do have, um, use the Smash one the most, uh, for when I stream. Uh, another, the, the last special edition that I guess you could have. I do have, I, I already mentioned it, I do have the Labo kits over over there, but I don't have to call those special editions or whatever. They're required to get the physical game uh, that comes with it. But uh, I have the Pokemon Let's Go Eevee uh, special edition that comes with the Pokeball Plus accessory. I already showed you guys I have a Pokeball Plus. This is how I got it. I do want to get the Pikachu, the Let's Go Pikachu one, because you know I'm a collector. And I, and I need it. I need all of it. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, I don't think there's really anything else for me to talk about other than I want to thank you all for watching. This has been, uh, I, I still, this is not the best way to stack it, and I'm, I'm surprised this these games are not falling down. I'm tempted to push them over now just so I can make a funny video, but I'm, I'm not, I'm going to keep it wholesome for you guys and keep it real. No, no fake shit on here, guys. Anyway, I want to thank you all so much for watching. Until next time, guys, I've been Zolda Inferno, and I'll see you later. Bye.